if I said to you I can make a, a basic job management page in two minutes, you probably wouldn't believe me. So I'm just going to show you now. So let's create a page. Let's choose a template. Save it. So straight away in my page, I've got a table and I've got a details panel. All I want to do is I want to have a page where I can look at my jobs. I can perhaps double click or right click and edit some of those details. This would have taken quite a few steps in the past, but now all I need to do is click on my details panel, choose my workflow that I want to link my data to. Hit save. It's probably the most important step, actually. Make sure you save your work. And in here, I'm going to preview the page and I can double click on the job and see all the details are here. And if I want to change some data, the feedback is instant. And you're probably going, OK, that looked, that did look quite easy, um, but I bet you've got a spaghetti junction behind the scenes in your workflow. That's not the case either. I think I only have four nodes in a workflow. And conveniently, we even have a little link that says open in workflow and you can come look at it. So if we scroll all the way down, you can see literally I used two nodes to do that there. So we're just really trying to focus on making uh, working with page builder uh, and with jobs and with the workflow. It's just a little bit nicer for you as well. But it doesn't stop there. There's just a few things within the workflow editor itself. So for you uh, eagle eyed ones, you would have noticed we now have colors, which makes um, documentation of your workflow is just much more visual and much easier to understand. We've also enhanced some of the copy and paste behavior. So I can alt click to select all. I can copy and then go somewhere else and paste and it lands where I expect it to go. There's also some other small enhancements as well, like tube selection and so on. And we've started adding more node icons as well to the workflows.